Well? I'm just going to sign. That's it? No questions, no opinions? Nope. You did a fantastic job. There. That was easy. If you're done shopping for the day, there are a ton of other things we need to go over. Caleb, whoa. Erica just said she needs more time. Jack, there are other things that need both of us to address. Unless you want to turn everything over to me. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> are you hungry? Because I'm famished. So why don't you go to Confusion and get us a table, and then we'll work over a late lunch. Are you sure? Positive. I'll meet you there. I'll show you out. I'm so sorry I didn't return your call, Jack. I just, you know, I was on the go from the moment I woke up this morning. I never even checked my messages till I got to the building. It's fine. Tell me, though, have you heard any more from Hayward about that uh, letter he wanted you to sign? Erica, don't tell me that you're planning to help this man. Well, Jack, doesn't, doesn't everyone deserve a second no, chance? No, not Hayward. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with me? Erica, you know better than anybody else the damage that man has caused, what he has done to, to, to your family, to our family. I know how to handle David Hayward. Just trust me. Boy, that is not what I wanted to hear. Honey, I have an appointment. Do you need a ride? No, I'm fine. See you later. Hey, can I talk? Hey, hey, can I talk to you in here privately for a second? Sure. Is this police business uh, or uh, what? Yes and no. Yes and no. Okay. Hit me. The um, pending drug charges against uh, Griffin Castillo. I'm going to need all pertinent uh, records, schedules, inventory. Sure, sure. What Whatever you need. No problem. What's the non-police uh, part? Car. What about her? I think your brother's falling for her pretty hard. Okay. And, and uh, I need you to tell me that that's a good thing, that uh, my friend, your brother, is not going to get stomped. Well, I guess you will not be needing this uh, anymore. Oh, you don't need it anymore, for sure. <laughs> I don't. And this stuff's expensive. Thank God for that. How you doing? Uh, good. Good, I think. Nothing so fast. Yeah. From what I heard, you still trying to take it all in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any uh, luck getting the charges against Griffin dropped? I'm still working on it. It's going to be so weird having him just gone. He's done so much good for, for everyone around here. The hospital at the Miranda Center. For you? For me. This is about those Castillo people. Mm. You know, they definitely got a way of getting under your skin. I don't think we're talking about Griffin anymore. No, we're not. <laughs> I know you know about me and Kara. Well, I I care about everyone involved. So. Thank you for your discretion. Of course, of course. Thank you. Was it hard? Was what hard? Getting married again. After Dixie. That's a damn good question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Man, but then then again, I mean, you know, the marriage between me and Crystal was, was pretty much the same thing. A marriage you can eat. Mm -hmm. 
for Jenny's sake. I mean, not that there weren't some real feelings there. No, I mean, I, I know there were. Was it the same way with Kara? Started out that way. And now? It's a little more complicated. It scares me. The, the, the thought of, of ever feeling for someone the way I felt for Zach. You mean like, well, you're betraying him? Yeah. Yeah, like I'd be betraying us. Kendall, you suffered the worst kind of loss there is. It's almost impossible to fight your way back from that. You know, some people can't make it. And from where I'm sitting, you know, you're doing a hell of a job. Really? Yeah. You're a beautiful woman, inside and out. And you sure as hell deserve to be happy. Don't let anybody ever tell you different. Hey, where's my mom? Wouldn't believe me if I told you. Is she okay? I'm fine, sweetie. Mom? Dixie? What's going on? Nora is stuck. I am waiting for the wood to shrink back down so I can get out. Don't worry. We'll get you out. Don't bother. I've already tried. Oh. Oh. They really are clueless. <laughs> My stinky heroes. <laughs> Yikes. Well, obviously the wood has shrunk back down. Sure, Dad. Yeah, right. Yeah, wait, come here. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> oh, what? Hmm. So we're going to play that game. Kendall went and spoke to you. Really? Sending her over to convince me to stay? When are you going to let this go? I love you. Okay? I'm selfish, I guess. I want you to stay here. I want you to be happy. And I get it. You could be happy in the field. But you know what? There are other ways. Don't shut yourself off because you're scared. Whoa, whoa. Said anything about being scared. Well, what? Is it a coincidence that as soon as you and Kendall get close, you start packing your bags? You know, denying how you feel, that can cause some serious damage, Griff. Trust me, I know. Hey, Kendall is not Jake. And you're not me. You know what? You spent your whole life taking care of other people. It's time you take care of yourself. Jesse, let's do a little recap on how we got to where we are today. Nobody put a gun to Tad's head, right? He chose to marry Kara all on his own. Which, by the way, I know was for immigration's benefit. Right. The problem is, I don't think this fake marriage is fake anymore. At least not for Tad. Really? Who said that? Tad said that? No. We kind of sort of danced around the issue. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I, I, I can tell the guy's got feelings. Now, I don't know your ex that well, but I do know that she was very important to you once upon a time. That is in the past. Kara and I are done. You aren't me, Griff. But you know who you're really not at all like? Dad. Kara. He was a waste. He was a bad husband. He was a bad father. He couldn't commit to anyone. History is not going to repeat itself. You are nothing like that. Okay, no, you are not okay. selfish like him, and you're not cruel like him. Okay, yes, yeah, sometimes you're a little cruel to yourself, but this is the time to change. Let yourself love. Because I have a feeling you will be damn good at it. I like Griffin. Okay. Yes, a lot. But it wasn't always that way. I don't know. Something happened, and, and all of a sudden, I found myself depending on him, not just as my doctor, but as my friend. Mm -hmm. And then when I got it in my head that Zach was murdered, Griffin could have run for the hills, but he didn't. He stuck by me. He believed in me even when I didn't believe in me. I don't know what it is about the Castillos, man. They both have that in common. Yeah. You know? They just love a good fight. They sense, you know, some kind of injustice, and they're, boom, you know, up and at them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not surprised, I mean, given their background. 
Kara had cancer, their father left. They've been fighting for their own lives from day one. So it makes sense they'd fight for other people's too. Yeah. I think it's impressive. Yeah, I just keep hoping they do their fighting here. Yeah. Yeah, you so you don't you feel that way about Kara? Well, you know, she 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 claims to like my family. You know? uh -huh. She wants to settle down here, but I gotta be honest, I keep thinking that, you know, maybe she wants a little more. Maybe she deserves a little more. Not that she can go out there and look for it right now. Not with immigration breathing down our necks. Yeah, but if she could, what would you do? Everything I could to get her to stay. Shall we order? I think we should just get down to work. Well, I never got a chance to give you your present. What's this? Well, open it. Go ahead. I hope you like it. Huh. It's for meetings, for, for business. Oh, I think it's going to look just great on you. Dorothy, are you flirting with me? No. Because you are with Jack. You can't have it both ways. I don't want it both ways. Then what's with this? Well, as I told you, I'm happy. I feel exhilarated. I feel free. Is there something wrong with wanting to share that with, with all the people around me? No. As long as we know where we stand. We do. Good. So we have a press conference coming up. A, a press conference? Well, what will I wear? Excuse me? Well, you said press conference, so I assume there'll be a lot of cameras, and then I, I mean, I really have to look my best. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the office. Feel free to join me when you're feeling a little less exhilarated. Must be some serious soda water. 